Mother Eden's Crush. I'm Miley. Hi, I'm Nicole. I'm Ana Maria. I'm Rosanna. I'm Yvette. And, and we're, we're going to be in Crush. Come check us out. Check Bye. it out, guys. Check it out. I don't think we expected anything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's the crazy thing is that coming into this, we just all went to an audition and said, you know what, we're going to do this a day at a time. Let's see where it takes us. Let's see if we can actually make it into the group. And once we did, it was like, what? Move into the house. You're in the group. Move into the house in four days. Yeah. Start living together and make an album. Day after we go in, we're in the studio with David Foster recording, cutting our first song. And ever since then, it was like every other two other days, it was like, okay, this is your new song. Here's a tape. Learn it. Let's go in the studio tomorrow and record it. And so we didn't have time to even think of, wow, what have we just gotten into? And we still don't have time. We have gone nonstop since moving into the house, finishing our album, shooting our music video. Right now we're promoting our single, Get Over Yourself. And, you know, in a couple days, our our album's being released. And we've just been going nonstop. So, I mean, I guess we were just thinking, oh, this is going to be a lot of fun, you know. And now we're realizing it's a lot of work. I guess just, I think if there's one thing that we did, which I think we will continue to do um, as a group, would be to take things a day at a time Mm -hmm. and to really keep communication open, like to keep that constantly going, to, you know, talk about everything, make sure you're on the same page, because there's going to be a lot of decisions that you're going to have to make as a group. Um, Those are for the people who actually make the group. Mm -hmm. Um, As far, far as auditioning, you know, be thankful to be there to audition and get the chance mm-hmm. to sing, you know. And if it doesn't work out, keep going. Mm-hmm. Don't stop. Definitely. Keep singing. Follow your dreams. It, You know, things are, are happen for a reason. And if it doesn't happen at this time, it will happen yeah. later. Use the audition process as a learning experience. Absolutely. So, and um, learn from others. Learn for yourself, you know. Um, and if it's meant to be, then it will happen. And if it's not, then there's something else out there in store for you. So yeah. just have faith and confidence when you walk in to the, everything, whether yeah. you are picked as a pop mm-hmm. star or just auditioning to start out with. I know with us it was kind of tricky because I guess the second pop stars will be with boys and girls. But with us it was just all women, and mm-hmm. you never knew what they were looking for. And all of us, I guess it was just something that we all had to just, okay, we were all very supportive because you never knew the next day who would be in the group, who wouldn't be. Who was going and home. if you come in with that attitude and just say, you know what, God bless you, cheering the next person on, hope you do your best, as opposed to, you know, cattiness or being like, hey, you know, that girl stank or she doesn't move good, you know, or whatever. It's just the attitude and I think the whole ambiance will just be a lot easier for you to go through the process because it's not easy, you know, when they put you in a room and they're deciding who they're going to say goodbye to in five minutes. Yeah. I mean, and it could be you. There was a there was an episode where Miley and I were having a disagreement over pictures, and I said on the WB um, the F word, which uh, I definitely wish that they didn't. I didn't know that they were filming. They had a little DV digital video and uh, camera, and I didn't even know that they were filming. So. I sort of wish that they hadn't aired that because they only can show so much, you know, in 23 minutes of footage. And we've got hours and hours and hours of footage. And um, not everybody can see both sides of the story. They just see, like, 1%, just a little, like, five seconds of it, you know. So, um, but then again, I, I don't regret, you know, anything that I've done. So, I mean, it is reality TV, and that's just the way the ball rolls. I guess, you know, when you're, when you're young and you're watching really famous people on the television and you try to emulate them, what you're seeing is them just performing. Mm-hmm. You don't really see a lot of the hard work that goes into it. Um, when you watch an interview, it looks like a great conversation even. Um, but there's loads of prep time. Um, there's something they've done before and, and something they have to do after. Right. Um, so it's like you discover through this process, actually living it, that you are constantly doing something, that you wake up at 5 a.m. and you go to bed at midnight or 1, and you barely have any time to rest, and you always just have to be on. So you have to absolutely love this if you're going to do it and commit yourself to it. 
Yeah, like I was saying before, it's it's one of those things like you look at a movie star or a rock star and you're like, oh my God, they're the coolest thing out there. You know, when we were children, it was like, what a cool life to live. But you know, I'm sure that they have moments where they just want to be in their own home, in their own bed, as opposed to being in different hotels every night of the week, in, you know, in different states. Um, it's, it's the same thing as what she said. It's, you got to do it if you want to be in this business. No, I don't I think don't. I had any of those moments. I mean, very trivial, I guess. Like, I was doing an exercise and didn't sound so great. But you have your on days and you have your off days, and things have improved since then, so I'm okay. Yeah, I have to agree. <laughs> there wasn't any moment. I mean, yeah, you'll have a bad day in the studio or, you know, your hair didn't look good or you didn't have any makeup on or something like that. But there wasn't any moments where I wanted to erase, really. Try to really, this is something that's really hard to do because it might be the same situation for them mm -hmm. on that show, Pop Stars, that we were on. But um, try to really process everything that's going on as it's happening because there's hardly any time to reflect upon it afterwards. If you have a journal, just write in your journal and just remind yourself to have a lot of fun while you're doing it because that's really what it's about. It's just about being very positive and happy. And being patient and taking everything with a grain of salt, watching your back and trusting the people that you're working with, especially the people within the group. Try and keep it, try and keep a nice balance within the group because if you lose that, you know, everything falters from there, so.